I'm really excited to bring to you another large family grocery haul and thrift haul. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to bring to you another large family grocery haul and thrift haul. So first I'm going to start with meat because my, or the groceries, because my husband is actually about to process this meat. But in today's grocery haul, you're going to see, I know a lot of our grocery hauls recently, you haven't seen a lot of meat reflected in those because we tend to buy our meat in bulk. Um, we were buying whole cows, whole pig, stuff like that. Well, I think we bought a half a cow last time and we bought a whole pig. Um, but after we were looking at what it was between the processing and the cost of the cow and what we actually use out of it, um, we found that it was actually cheaper for us and um, we would use more of these cuts of meat if we just bought in bulk from like our Sam's Club and then there is a local grocery store in Dubuque called Eagle Country Market that also had meat in bulk that was super cheap. We've also found another place that we're gonna go to and I will show you in a future video um, where we'll be buying some uh, bulk meats and seafood as well. So. Um, but that's for another video, another day. Anyway, today what I'm gonna show you is what we got. My husband's actually about to process um, all of the meat that you see here. So he's gonna be doing cutting and packaging and things like that. And I'll actually show you um, what he bought. We purchased the items on Amazon and I will try to link them down below to process our burger. So um, let's go ahead and get into this haul and, and then I'll show you um, what we bought at the thrift store today as well. And I'll throw in a small thrift store haul in here as well. And don't forget, if you like videos like this, click that thumbs up button. It helps my channel out a lot. And subscribe if you're not already. And let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start back here where the bulk part of the meat is. Um, let me move this. So we shopped at, like I said, Sam's Club, a store called Eagle Country Market, which I don't think is a major chain. Um, but it could be. Let me know if you have one near you. And then we also did some shopping at Walmart as well. I did do a previous um, shop this week for like lunch items between Walmart and Sam's Club that is not reflected in this. Um, but this was like meat and some breakfast items and a few like touch up items, but I'll explain that later. Okay, let's just get into the haul. So first, this is from Sam's Club, and I'll show you what the pricing was on this. This is 80 pounds of hamburger. So we were able to get this for $231.25. That's $2.98 a pound. Um, and this is 80% ground chuck. So this is, this isn't, I don't know if you can see that, and I'll try to show you. It's in those big rolls that um, if you have a Sam's Club, you'll know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna pull out of those and process this, process this into one pound bags. Okay, and then this also came from Sam's Club. These are um, bone-in assorted pork chops, and these were pre-cut, so we won't have to do anything but package these into like the meat bundles, um, because it was actually just as cheap to do it that way. So this one was twenty-one thirty, and this one was twenty-two fifty-three. There's 11 pounds yeah 11 pounds in this one and almost 11 pounds in this one um so i picked up a 30 pack of these velvet hangers this is not a food item but something that i needed for my closet my husband doesn't like the velvet hangers but i do so i use these on my side and he uses plastic on his um they did have a bulk pack at sam's club i think there were like 90 hangers in it but they they don't have them anymore so i wish i would have grabbed them when i saw them Okay, um, this is from Eagles Country Market, and this is for, so we're stocking up for summer because we do a lot of grilling, um, and this is a boneless rib roast, so my husband's going to cut these up into steaks, and this was 150 67 
for it. So it's about $8.99 a pound. And then he got a boneless strip steak. That one was $70.39 and that's $7.19 a pound. That also came from Eagle Country Market. Um, so that, and like I said, those prices seem really high, but that's probably half of a summer worth of meat for our size of family plus like entertaining having people over so that'll stock up our freezer and that's why you guys don't see meat in a lot of our grocery hauls um, unless it's something like maybe chicken things like that you just don't see it very often because we do shops like this where we buy it in large large quantities so that we're not having to spend all that extra money on meat okay and then we picked up some boneless pork loin chops and these were already pre-cut these family packs um, I got these at Sam's Club and they were a pretty good deal two six or 76 a pound and I picked up five packs so this one was 684 774 724 uh, this one down here was 570 and then I, I can't see the price on that one but it was none of them were more than like seven something um, and then I got a big thing of the bulk Instant Idahoan potatoes. I love these. Um, well, they're actually real mashed potatoes. They're just dehydrated. So and they're so easy to make and they make for a quick, easy dinner, um, a quick side. So those I got at Sam's Club. I also picked up some grapes for the kids at Sam's Club for snacking. Um, these I got at Walmart. These are, and I will try to remember to throw those in there. If not, I'll probably put them on Love Jar Vlogs. But I did pick up some lunch sacks some reusable lunch sacks insulated ones for the kids because we travel a lot between here where we've moved um and dubuque so we live in what's called a tri-state area basically and so we're really really close to where we lived before um even though we moved to illinois we're really close to dubuque iowa still so it's about mm, 10 15 minute drive to Dubuque and so we do a lot of traveling back and forth between there and we were finding ourselves eating out a lot more So this is to help avoid that I picked up a 200 thing of sandwich bags and then 200 of the snack bags and Then these I got at Walmart as well. I got some bananas uh, three bunches of bananas and then two heads of the lettuce. Now when I'm at Walmart, they always have this brand, this Fife's brand, and my kids really like these ones. Um, and my kids are very picky about their bananas, believe it or not. These ones turn yellow very, like, a lot quicker. We've had some that we've bought and they stay green for a really long time. And my kids just eat them too fast for us to have that kind of banana in the house. So. We get these ones and I always go into the box because it seems like the ones in the boxes are riper than the ones that they have sitting out. So, so I got three bunches of those and two heads of lettuce because we want to do more salads in the house. Um, when I was at Sam's, we picked up a bulk thing of feminine products because you know if you've got girls, ladies in the house, you need those and it's the best deal there. Um, these I also got at Sam's. This is the Nature's Twist. These are really good. They're sugar-free, but they do not taste like it. Um, some bottles of the strawberry lemon, and I think these are like 16 or 20 ounce bottles. And then we got the regular lemon flavor as well. And then at Walmart, I picked up some Hawaiian Punch for the kids. Aspen picked out this flavor. It's the Polar Blast. And then some of the Pan Tampico drink mix. And a gallon of milk. We always gotta have that in the house. This I got at Sam's Club for my husband and I and my oldest daughter. She really likes the peach ones. Um, we got some of the Activa in strawberry, black, cherry, and peach. There's 24 of those in there. And then for breakfast, I picked up some buttermilk waffles. They were out of the frozen pancakes, which I do like to get. So tomorrow I'm going to go through and I'm going to... Um, I forgot to get some freezer bags, so I'm going to have to do that yet. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to make up a bunch of batches of pancakes and just stick them in our freezer up here so the kids can grab those and throw them in the microwave in the morning. I think these were like $1.84 a box. So we'll see how many I get out of this and see if it's actually better to just do it this way. Um, let's see. So I got two boxes of that and I got those at Walmart. Um, 
I think most of the rest of this stuff over here is from Walmart. I got two things of the Daisy Light Sour Cream. My husband really likes the squeezable ones um, because we use that for tacos a lot. I got a big thing of creamy peanut butter and then they didn't have a big thing of the crunchy so I did two of the small crunchy peanut butters. And then a thing of apple butter because I absolutely love apple butter on my sandwiches and since we're gonna be packing sandwiches, I like a variety. Um, we did buy lunch meats and stuff. So I'll do like lunch meat sandwiches, but I also like, I do like a peanut butter sandwich now and then. Sometimes I like it for breakfast too. Um, and then I got this, it's like Nutella, but it's just cheaper. Um, it's probably about $3 less. And my kids actually like this a bit better. So this is the hazelnut spread with cocoa, the great value brand. And then Aspen really, really wanted to try orange marmalade. Um, and if no one else in the house likes it, I'll just pass it to my mom because I know she really likes orange marmalade, but he really wanted to try it. So I thought I'd let him. Um, and then we got a thing of strawberry preserves. And of course, some Mountain Dew for me in a two liter. I do drink drink packets as well. I did not purchase any of those because I just didn't need any right now. Um, but I do still like my, my caffeine from my Mountain Dew. Okay. And then this, oh, this I did get at Sam's. This is a big thing of Dove Bars. This will last us for quite a while. That's a pantry stock up. Dollars at Walmart. I got a pair of fuzzy, like, sold slippers because we don't wear shoes in the house. We have brand new carpet, so I like to have some slippers. And then these were a replacement to a birthday shirt that Aspen got for his birthday, his ninth birthday. It didn't fit him, and he actually picked these out to replace it. We got the Venom shirt, and then he picked out a Naruto t-shirt. I got these in a bit bigger size than he wears because I think the Walmart ones always tend to run just a little bit smaller, and he likes his to be a little bit baggier on him. So my husband's talking to my oldest son in the background because he's ready to get uh, a meat pack for mom and dad. <laughs> we went shopping. Anyway, I wanted to quick show you what I got at the thrift store. Um, I found two Tupperware containers. I believe these were coffee Tupperware containers. I can still kind of smell the coffee smell, but that's not what I got them for. I'm actually, I got two different sizes. See, the like stacking ones. Um, I actually got these to like store, like, <laughs> to like store leftover soups and stuff in because I'm always needing something for that. So I was super pumped. I paid, you guys, look at this. 99 cents a piece for these pieces of Tupperware. Now you know you cannot touch Tupperware for 99 cents. And these are in relatively good shape. The lids are a little, little banged up, but I'm not gonna complain. Tupperware, oops. I'm not gonna complain. Tupperware lasts forever and it'll serve the purpose I need it for. Okay, so I'm really excited because St. Patrick's Day will be coming up if it's not already um, by the time you see this. So. I've been this year theming my closet by the month. So I pick out like a color tone for the month. So I'm filming this in February. I don't know when you're going to see that. And that's why I kind of showed you guys already. You should have seen that video with the thrift store haul. Um, and I had some pink clothes in there. So like pinks and reds and stuff like that. So that was for February because it just reminds me of Valentine's. Just something fun that I've been doing this year. Um, but it's not like I'm gonna go buy a whole new wardrobe to do that. And I'm utilizing pieces I already have in my closet too. And it's helping me kind of pair through what I have in there as well. So as I'm going through my closet and um, kind of theming it for the month, I'm looking at things and saying, do I actually wear this or is this something that I could just let go of? So this, I'll show you a couple of the pieces I picked up for the month of March that I thought would kind of theme my color scheme for March. So let me go try a couple of those on and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so <laughs> when I saw this on the rack and that's kind of how I've been um, picking out pieces as I go in there because I'll stand in front of my closet and I'll be like, ugh, I don't know if I really wanna wear that. Do you ever get that? So I saw now when I'm going in and looking at the thrift store, I'm thinking to myself, is that something I'd reach in my closet and be like, oh, I really wanna wear that. And so when I saw this piece, I did, well, now that I've tried it on here at home, 
because I generally know what my size is when I go in. When I try, not for pants, but for like sweater shirts, things like that. When I tried this on in the store, I was like, is that something that I really wanna wear? And now that I've tried it on here, I'm like, I love this. Look at this, this is so, and it's so soft. So it's in this nice like hunter, hunter green and it's got a split. So yeah, that's my first piece, just this kind of like over cardigan. It's a little more lightweight because the weather come March in our area will start going back and forth between warm and cold. So it's nice to have layers and still have warm stuff, but something you could take off. So I'm loving this color. Isn't that pretty? I actually like it with this light pink shirt too. Okay, I'm gonna grab the next item. Okay, so the next one that I got was this one. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got like, see the gold sparkles in it? And I thought, how cute for St. Patrick's Day, like pot of gold. And it's just kind of like a mid-length, show you, kind of a mid-length. And uh, I just thought this was a nice color tone, like creams and gold. I could also reuse this for Christmas time or like around November, around Thanksgiving. I think this would be nice, even New Year's, because it's just sparkly, it's pretty, it's got like a nice texture and V-neck. I could wear a turtleneck under it. So this one, I'm liking this one. And I think a pair of cute leggings would be really nice under this. I don't know if I would necessarily like these pants because of the band, um, but look at this. I'll pull it so you can see how long this thing is. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think that would look super cute with leggings and it's really, really soft. It's a nice, it's got this like cowl, cowl neck on it and it's long sleeved but it's this really fine knit in an army green. So if you can kind of see the color theme I'm going for, it's like greens, golds, off-whites. I've got another one. I think this, okay, this one is my favorite that I picked out of all of them. So I'll be right back and then I'll show you. Okay. And then the last thing that I picked up was this shirt. Isn't that pretty? I just thought that was really, really pretty. It's like this off-white and it's got this knitted floral print. And I thought, you know, March is coming into spring and it's got like a light pink. So I'll probably throw some of my pinks in yet um, for the month of March. Some like light pinks, tans, greens, golds, off-whites. And this is kind of like, I don't know, it's like a off-white kind of gray. It's by a company called, um, Marley Lily. So, but I just thought it was really unusual and just so pretty. Isn't that pretty? And it's got that nice length on it too. See? Kind of just a little bit longer length, which is what I like, especially when it comes to like long sleeve shirts. All right, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Click the subscribe button if you're not and hit the bell so you never miss when one of my videos drops. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.